We're off on a bit of a scientific adventure this morning. We're going to be diving on the Argus site, uh, which is way out from Bermuda coast. And we're going to survey it because there's no map of it. Before we drop the subs, we want to work out exactly where to dive. So that's the plan for this morning. And it means we get to go on the, the fast boat. Argus Bank or Plantagenet Bank. Uh, we need to get a better idea of what the uh, lay of the land is actually um, down on the seabed. So we've got a good position to put the submersibles and the uh, dive team. What are you hoping? What are you hoping to see? Well, I'm hoping to see um, some really rich deep water coral communities here. You often get very rich coral communities on seamounts because as the current passes the seamount, it has to rise over it and move around it. So the currents actually accelerate. And that, of course, brings more food for um, filter feeding animals and sweeps the sediment away so they've got hard rock to attach to. Oh, look at that! It could be a gorge or a valley of some sort running out. Yeah, a little you know, We're platform. only looking at this in one dimension. And is this looking good? You know, we it took us some time, it's not at all what the map said, but now we've found this drop-off. Does that look good for this afternoon's dive? That looks very interesting, yeah. We yeah. are dead on top of the edge of the wall. We are 1.34 miles from you, and we are due east of you. Um, recommending that the transect include the top of this wall, which is right at 190 feet. And I'm gonna go drop your downline right now. So, we've got a plan. We came out here, we scanned the bottom, we managed to find the drop-off. Uh, Alex has got very, very excitable. So we're ready, we've marked the start point, the end point. The divers are getting ready on the Baseline Explorer. We're gonna go back, get the subs all set, and, uh, and dive this afternoon. the bridge. I'm going to introduce you to Shane, who's the surface officer. Hello. How are you doing? Great, great. How, How are, are they? Right now they're at 665 feet. Do you guys have a question for the sub? Yeah, can I speak to Alex? Sure. Nemo, this is Topside. This is Alex uh, in Nemo. Hi Alex, this is Greg. How is the dive going? What have you seen? Over. What is it? We're not quite sure, to be honest. We are, we are luminous, like, we, we like the tool, we don't have a microscope. But the sea mount was completely oh, covered with it on the summit. We've got to figure out what it is. Yeah. So uh, we're going to preserve this for DNA. This is a rock. This is a rhodolith, it's not a rock. These are formed by calcareous red algae. The sea mount was completely covered in these, but these were covered in this mysterious creature that we don't know quite know what it is. So Alex, this is just one sample. What's the bigger picture? How does this single individual sample from this one dive site going to make a difference? We're doing the XL Catlin Deep Ocean Survey, we are trying to do a health check of the whole planet's ocean, but we're only diving in some specific places around Bermuda. Yeah. So how are we going to extrapolate from that? Or how does just those small pieces of the puzzle give us the full picture? There's probably only about 40 sea mounds out of more than 100,000 in the ocean that have had any level of biological sampling associated with them. So even our little, you know, single expedition today, we've actually contributed to significant quantity of knowledge on seamount biology, it might seem a, a trivial exercise to go and 
one tiny pinpoint on the map and dive there, but um, it's a significant contribution to knowledge. If we keep doing it, that builds into a body of knowledge. You never know what you're actually going to find. This today is a real surprise. Oh. What a day! So this morning, the Argus Seamount was mapped, but very, very badly. In fact, the maps were just wrong. Um, it hadn't really been explored at all. And then today, two of our Nexon submersibles went down and explored it. And Alex brought back something that has completely baffled him. And it might not look like much, but it's a part of the puzzle. It's a part of the scientific body of knowledge. It's going to grow and grow. And it's something we can go back and analyze again in the future. Set that baseline that means that we can try to work out the health of our ocean. Something that from up here just looks like a mirror. We've got no idea what's going on under there. <laughs>